Hey guys, this is Rahul and you're welcome to GoMahamaya.com. In this tutorial, we are going to fix the following require properties are missing the FB app ID. For that, you need to go to developer.facebook.com. And once you are inside developer.facebook.com, you have to click on create app. And here it will be your email ID. And here it will be your name like whatever name you want to give to that uh, app so i'll give yours and i'll click on create app id and like you have to verify that you are a human and you have to click on submit and now you will be redirected to this page and if you could not you have to make a login on developer.facebook.com and in this area you won't find anything you have to hover over dashboard and you have to click on that and once you are inside the dashboard, you'll find API version, app ID and the app secret. For Yoast, you does not need app secret. You just need app ID. If you still could not find your Yoast or whatever name you gave for your app ID, you have to hover over this or click on this. You'll find your ID name. If you still could not find your ID name, you go to again back and you type developer.facebook.com slash apps and you'll find all your apps already you have created you can click on any of the app if you still could not find you have to click on add a new app and again you have to follow the same procedure and let me let me click on this yoast again back and i'll copy this app id i'll go back to my dashboard now and once you are inside your dashboard you have to hover over seo and you'll find a bunch of options uh, you have to click on social and next you have to click on Facebook and once you are inside that Facebook tab You have to scroll down and you'll find Facebook app ID You have to paste that code or whatever code you have copied from there You click on paste and you have to click on save changes and on the top of the screen You will get save message and now we'll go back to our Facebook page and we'll check whether it's working or not and now we'll refresh the page and now still we are not getting any kinds of images so we'll go back on in the debug tool and we'll click on debug again and now we'll check the error and we are still getting that error so we have to click on scrap again and now we have to click on debug again back and I, i'm getting that old images whatever the image i'm getting is the old image so i'll click on debug again and now you won't get any error and your original image you'll get here and now if you go back to your facebook page and refresh it you'll get the correct image of your website i'm not getting any image for one of my blog posts so i'll open that in a new tab and i'll copy that link of that blog post and uh, i'll go back and i'll paste the debug tool again and you have to click on debug and again you will find error for that you have to click on scrap again and once you click on scrap you have to click on debug again and you'll get an image for your posts now if you go back to your facebook page you'll refresh you'll get images i hope you find this video useful if you have any question or query let me know in the comment section and if you haven't subscribed to my channel click on subscribe button for the more further tech centrics thank you